Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to exploit Cisco devices using TFTP server. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know almost all Cisco devices has support to FTP. So a Cisco device can either be a TFTP server or just a TFTP client, okay? And as you may also know, TFTP is used in order to transfer file from one device to another. So Cisco devices, when they boot up, they can load actually the iOS image from another TFTP server, or they can also load its uh, config files from a TFTP server. Okay, but from a security point of view, TFTP has no authentication mechanism and this weakness that we're gonna exploit in order to use it. Okay, so first of all, let me show you the config of my uh, Cisco router. Okay, so here I'm using uh, secure CRT. To connect to my Cisco router but you can use whatever client you want for example PuTTY okay so let's go to the global config mode here we go I'll enter here my secret password here we go so let me show you the config of my Cisco router but I will filter just on TFTP okay TFTP so here we go so you can see that I have this command here TFTP server which is actually enable TFTP server on this Cisco router okay so in order to exploit this weakness TFTP must be enabled in your Cisco device okay so here as you can see it's serving this router.config file so if I execute the command dire which shows what is actually inside my flash memory so here you can see the file router.cfg which contains actually the config of my file so let's see that the file flash okay router cfg here we go so this is the configuration of my cisco router so actually this config file that we're gonna actually try to download using tftp exploit okay and as you may know the config file for cisco router can be mined because it contains the config of the running cisco router but also it can provide actually some more info about the whole network like uh, access control list or neighbors Cisco devices okay so let's start the attack okay but before to do that I have to make here a disclaimer do not use that in the production environment or actually in uh, Cisco devices that you don't have notarization for okay so here I'll be actually using nmap in order to exploit this weakness of Cisco TFTP servers so let me go to my Kali Linux here we go so here I'm inside my Kali Linux I'm on the terminal so actually what I'm going to use here is the script that comes with nmap so nmap is a very famous uh, scanning tool okay so here I'll be using this command here and also as you may know tftp server is running on UDP port 69 okay but here as you can see I'll be using here this uh, tftp uh, dash unm dot nse script so if you want to see all the script that comes with the uh, nmap actually you have to go to your directory here called uh, user 
share and map okay so let me go to the nmap folder here we go so inside this uh, directory in map you'll find two actually folders and this folder with name script normally we'll find this uh, script here tftp slash uname so if i go down to look for tftp normally we are gonna find it okay Here we go. So this is our file here. So let's open it. So actually, this script it's going to enumerate all the default config files in order to download them, okay? Or just to show us that they are exist in this router that we're going to attack, okay? So this is the work of this script. And if you want to see actually all the font config file of a router that this script gonna enumerate in order to try to download with another tool we can go up to this uh, nse lib and you will find here data folder and if you go down you will find actually tftp list.txt so inside this file here you will find all the default name for the config files so remember if i go back to my router so the default one was actually as you can see here router.cfg so if i go here down normally i'll find this file here router.cfg as you can see here router.cfg so this is the default name for the config file from some Cisco router but the famous one are also startup config so as you can see here startup.cfg so in this file you'll find all the default uh, config files for uh, Cisco routers okay and here the script will run against my uh, router which has this IP address 192.168.1.2 okay so let's run it here we go it's gonna see if it has actually an open port and indeed it has detected that the port as you can see here for the FTP which is UDP port 69 is open and also it has found the router.cfg which is a default uh, config file for my router it has found it okay so now we're gonna use whatever tftp client in order to actually download this file okay so here we are exploiting the weakness of tftp server which has no authentication mechanism okay so let me just uh, use the tftp client that comes with Kali Linux but you can download it if you want or use any other TFTP client so I will use it against my router here we go that one that two so now I'm inside I can simply use the command get in order to get this uh, router.cfg file that has been enumerated using nmap okay router.cfg here we go now we're gonna exit or actually quit yes so now let's see the file that exists in this directory and normally we will find that uh, the router.cfg file as you can see here has been downloaded successfully okay so let's open it using more or any command that you want so I will use more and the name of the file because it has downloaded to the same directory where I am and indeed you can see that I successfully downloaded the config file for my router so you can see here the image that I'm using on my router and all other parameters or parameters like the uh, enable password that we can also actually try to uh, crack if we want okay so with this simple trick with the simple script 
actually we have successfully enumerated the name of the config file of my router and using any TFTP client we have actually downloaded from our Cisco router without any authentication. So this is the exploit that I showed you here in this tutorial. But now how are we gonna mitigate this attack? So simply there are a couple of things that you can do in order to mitigate this attack. Simply you have to disable TFTP server on your Cisco router, okay? But if you download or you disable TFTP server, how are you going to actually transfer files from TFTP server? So simply you can use scopy, which is secure copy protocol in order to transfer files which actually utilizes uh, SSH in order to actually exchange files between Cisco devices. This is an option. And also you can use access control lists, yes, uh, to control which IP address is permitted to connect to the FTP server. So you have all these options that you can implement in your Cisco router in order to mitigate this kind of attacks, okay? So as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.